coming up we remove the old spark plugs I'll show you a trick how to use an old hose pipe and as they say on the London Underground mines the gap Right, first thing we're going to do today is change the uh, spark plugs on a Ford uh, one litre EcoBoost. Uh, the coil packs are on top there. Spark plugs has to be changed every three years or 37,000 miles. You've got three, uh, what size are these? 8mm. Just got to basically uncrack them. They won't be very tight because they are not, uh, not done up too tight. So first of all, just uncrack all three. Now on top of the coil packs, you've got some uh, HT leads. Uh, pull the button out slide the the plug off obviously keep them in the order one two third one's here push it down on the end pull it out those will stay in the order because the harness is there that's coil pack one keep them in the order Gonna put them up there, two. Right, to get to the spark plugs, I've got a long reach uh, spark plug tool. Inside there's a rubber uh, suction cap. That's the right size, it's from a Range Rover V8. Because the, the spark plugs are right down in the into the uh, engine. Now they'll be fairly tight to undo. I've just basically slackened them off at the moment. You need to be doing this with a cold engine, not do it with a hot engine. All right, there's one of the plugs. Now we're going to look at the the wear on it. The car's got 59,000 miles on it. Well, that's interesting. Whoever's done a service on this car before, a, a local garage did it for me about eight months ago, they've actually put NGKs into it. Now, what we should have, this is the genuine spark plug for the car. And this is a Ford. <clears throat> now there's a hell of a difference between temperatures. That's the correct spark plug. I'll put it on the description in a bit, but they, the garage has put NGKs into it, which probably doesn't run the correct temperature. So the part number for the spark plugs is 17700305, genuine Ford. Uh, got genuine Ford actually onto the uh, spark plug. So I'm going to take the other two out at the moment. I bet these are NGKs as well. What I've already done, I've already cracked them off at the moment. So they should just come out. There you go. They've used NGK again. And if I'd have known that when they were servicing the car, I would have said, no, no, I want genuine Ford pieces in it. That one's quite sooted up. NGK again. But let's look at the uh, let's look at the burn on the top of the uh... there you go. Car's got 59,000 miles on it. These have to be done every 37,000 miles for every three years. They're not bad, but I don't like NGK for the car. The garage should have put genuine Ford pieces in. Maybe they're cutting back on costs. So there's another reason, do the spark plugs yourself. They're so easy to do. Now, now I've got these out, so I'm gonna let the engine go stone cold before I torque them up. Now, when you put spark plugs back in onto this uh, Harley head, it's 13 Newton meters. We'll basically nip them down one sixteenth of a turn, that's it but 13 newton meters is what you do them up to. I think these are about seven newton meters. But the coils on top, 
don't mix them up because obviously they've been running to the the engine that's one that's two that's three all right spark plugs <coughs> these are the genuine ones those are the old ones now with any spark plug you've always got to check the gap the electro gap at the very top we know it on this one is 0.7 of a millimeter they'll actually come to 1.2 or something when you buy them they've got to be done so you check the gap and what you've got to do you've got to copper stick them it's old fashioned but you put a very very small amount of copper paste onto the thread that way <coughs> when they're in the alloy head they won't seize so a little bit of copper slip that's one done right what we're going to do now is put the spark plugs in we've put some copper slip on the threads we're using the same uh, spark plug holder what i sometimes do if you're putting a spark plug into an alloy head what i've always done in the past is put a bit of rubber tubing onto onto here that long and put it into the engine and turn the rubber tubing now if you cross thread this into an alloy head you can strip the thread but by using a rubber sleeve if you've cross threaded it the rubber sleeve will start turning before the spark plug does but because these are so easy to do they're on top of the engine i'd use the uh, plug wrench so as i said to you before if they were difficult to put in i would not be using that i'd use a rubber sleeve to feed it in turn it and get the thread but because on this engine they're vertical and don't forget we've checked the gap which is 0.7 of a millimeter very very gently lower it in you don't want to drop the spark plug want to get the thread at the moment right, she's caught and just do it by hands until it goes fairly tight right leave that one there I'm going to go another spot plug. again you check the head sorry you check the gap on the spark plug Make sure that's seated in there. You put some copper slip onto the thread, which is ideal. Now gently find the hole. Lower the spark plug in gently. Just turn it gently until it gets the thread, which that's got. Do it by hands until it stops. Now when these are in, They've got to be torqued up to 13 newton meters, no more, which basically means hand tight and a sixteenth of a turn. Right, that's hand tight again with a spark plug. This is quite easy to do because it's only a three cylinder. Again, the electro gap has been done. One, 1 1.7, sorry, 0.7 of a millimeter. Do it up by hands, just feel it. If you had a V8 or a V6, you'd be doing it with a rubber tube to make sure you don't cross thread. Right, 13 Newton meters. Job done. <clears throat> 13 Newton meters is not that uh, tight, I'll tell you. Make sure he's on. 13, hold it there. She's on. On my Range Rover, they're 22 Newton meters. This is 13, which is nothing there at all. 13 done. Right, now we've got the spark plugs in, 13 Newton meters. We've got the coils. Now, don't forget, we've kept the coils in the same order one two and three don't mix them up if you've got a faulty coil and you do a a check in the ecu module it will tell you what coils at fault so you don't want to mix them because at the moment they're working perfectly so the spark plugs are in uh, what you want to do is make sure this rubber cap 
it's nice and clean uh, if you've got white marks on it it's a burning ozone which you need to clean it but those are perfect condition nice and black I haven't cleaned them they're original don't forget keep them in the same order find the top on the on the V8 they go pop but these they don't go pop they just obviously sit on oh, we've got that running let's put the uh, with these start them with your hand first obviously get the thread these are going to be at least uh, 10 newton meters no more because they've got a copper thread on the other side and you do not want to strip that so 10 newton meters is what, uh, what they're going to be yeah you need to do them with right hands to start with that's for sure that one's in one more to uh, get the thread all right, now we've got the thread there. Whizzing down. Right, now I've done that slightly tight. I'm just gonna nip them. You're only doing them to 10 Newton meters, that's all. They've only got to hold them in place. Job done. Now, on the coils, make sure they're square. Click, push the button in. They're in the same order. Click, push the button in. That's the spark plugs changed on a Ford. Job done. We're dating that off because we haven't done the oil yet. We're going to fill the oil up now. So we've done the oil filter, the spark plugs, and we drain the oil, so we're going to fill it up now.